Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to shop your closet before actually going spring shopping for dresses. Most of us do have a lot of stuff in our closets that we could actually wear either to brunch, to church, or just a regular day at the mall. So I have a few pieces here that I'm going to show you guys. Um, the reason why I'm showing you these because they're kind of old, but they are really good length for tall women. Um, they're not too short and they're all very affordable. I believe all of these, no, three of these are from ASOS. Mm, let's see, hold on. This might be from Intermix. Yeah, so three of these are from Intermix and the other two are from ASOS. So sometimes Intermix can be a little bit pricey, but they always have sales. So my recommendation, this is a tip that I always use, the moment I see them have a sale, I put everything in my bucket <laughs> and I give it to like the end of the week of that week maybe that weekend and they usually go down a little bit more in price so um, these are also dresses that I personally think the colors will look really nice on dark skinned women um, I have on a black dress now I'm not really a fan of black on me I just never like black um, I think it doesn't it doesn't bring me out my skin tone out so I have one simple dress here and this is by the brand Flounce London and I got this from Intermix yeah yeah um, and where's the price the price is not on here actually no I did not pay full price for this but uh, it's a simple one shoulder dress I'm actually gonna try this on for you guys to see this um, maybe I'll do like a split screen that'll be even better so you guys can see it but it hangs off of one shoulder sorry it hangs off of one shoulder like this very simple if you wanted to dress it down you could but it is like a, a satiny satin material um, you can throw on a belt with this, but it does come with a simple tie. Most people don't like the tie, so you can take it off and put whatever belt you want to put on with it. This, I got this in a size 12. Um, I'm not typically a 12, but I didn't want to chance it. So that's one dress that I got. Then I got, this other one is very, <laughs> it's not my type of dress, but this is more of a super feminine just because it has like ruffles it has like flowers on it and stuff um you can wear this with a big brim hat with some pumps and you can go to like a little what do you call those big hat luncheons and stuff with your friends um it does have some ruching here at the center i believe that you can still wear a belt over this if you wanted to edge it up a little bit um and this is by eliza j now Eliza J does have really nice dresses um, and this one I got in a size in a size 12 also um, again I am not I don't I'm not a 12 however I always have trouble with getting stuff on my arms because it may be too tight because of my bust area um, so I always go up a little bit just to make sure it fits me. If it is too snug, I mean, if it's too big, I usually get it taken in. So that's the second one from Intermix. The prices, I don't even know where the prices are. I thought the prices were on here. And I got another mustard kind of dress. And this has like a high-low feature. Um, very, del very feminine. Um, the back has like a string across cut very low and this is by this is oh actually this is BCBG yeah but I did get this from Intermix and this dress is it's like this weird long tag on the back anyway 
this tag is so if you take it off you can't return it um i thought it was inside out and this was actually 250 but i'm telling you i didn't pay 250 i had to have paid half price for this and i got this in a size i got this in a large I'm trying to figure out why I got it in a large, beca oh, because I have a BCBG dress and I just felt like it wasn't going to fit me properly. But um, I'll try this on and show you guys how that fits. Um, and again, these are just colors and some length of dresses that I think will look really nice on taller women. Um, again, it's hard for us to find things that are not like super short and that look super weird on us. So, um, and then I have two other dresses that I got from ASOS. Something like this, I would wear to church. Okay, it's not, it has like some detailing in it. Um, the back is open, however, you can wear a little drape over you in church. It's not like overly sexy or anything like that because the front is so covered up. Um, but this is also another color that I think will look really nice on us, more dark skin women. Um, and it's a, the perfect length. I would wear this to church. And I would also wear this one to church as well. This has like a little belt on the back. And this is more of a regular blush. This is a different type of pink. It looks like a salmon pink. And this is more of a blush. Um, it's very lightweight. It has like some detailing on it. But it's very, very lightweight. So I'll show you guys how this fits. So I would wear this to church also. And then I would wear this to brunch. I would if I was going to like a nice little brunch party not like a day party <laughs> like a nice brunch party there's a difference <laughs> um so i'll get these on and let you guys see these um or like i said i'll just pop in a video of me next to it while i'm talking and maybe i'll do a voiceover i'm not 100 percent sure yet so if i try them on you'll see it if not you'll see a pop-up all right guys so i'll be right back welcome back guys so I have on the first dress, which is the dress from Intermix. Um, this is a simple satin dress. It has a split, give it a little bit of sexy, not too much. Um, this is something that I wouldn't really do much to. Actually, a lot of these dresses. Um, keep it simple, keep it very feminine. Um, I think if I start adding belts and stuff to something like this, it'll take away from the feminine part of the dress um, and just keep it cute and simple it comes off the shoulder uh, quite a bit so make sure you do have on a bra you can wear one strap on one side and then you can just take the strap off the other side um, like I said it does this is a size 12 so I'm just saying I'm not a big girl by all means like nowhere down here <laughs> um, but it fits me a little fitted so I'm glad I did get a 12 in this one um so but if you are hippie you may have some issues with something like this um but I typically wear dresses that are this length because I don't know I just feel comfortable in them and I think they look better on me anything shorter I probably totally will feel uncomfortable <laughs> fidgeting and stuff so something like this I would wear so this is just the first dress I'll turn around and let you guys see the back um comes down like that it's, it's it's pretty fitted um but not to the point where i can't move in it um it does have a little stretch and i have on nude shoes right now which are some nude sandals from stuart weissman now i have big feet i wear size 11 and i have wide feet they do carry wide um and they're Bailey Nudes. I believe those are called Bailey Nudes. And I forget what these are called, but these have like a block heel. They're comfortable, um, but they are a little pricey in my opinion. What I didn't like about the black ones were that the first time I wore them, the bottom was like, pretty much like I wore them for like two months straight. So um, if you did buy something like this, just think about putting on a sole protector so you don't have to deal with it later on. But this is the first dress and I think it's simple. You can wear black sandals if you want it. Um, I have on nude for now because that's what I have over here. And if you want it, you can just do a simple clutch. I probably wouldn't do this, but 
it's very bright. So if I wore this, I would wear black shoes because it does have some black detailing or I can probably wear my little LV clutch um, and just keep it simple. Um, like I said, you can wear black with this if you want it. Um, I know a lot of girls wear like the clear shoes. You can also do that if you want it um, so it can look seamless. But I have them on with this right now. Well, I have it on with this right now. So I'm gonna just try on the second dress and let you guys see it and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I had an issue with my last clip. It is completely lost. So I apologize for this clip showing in portrait mode, but here is the dress. All right guys, so here's the, what is this? The third dress. Um, okay, now hear me out. <laughs> I went through a phase <laughs> where I wanted flowers and stuff. I have no idea why. But I actually really like the color and to my surprise, I believe this is a 12 also and it's fitting me just perfect. So, um, so that means to me, anything from Intermix, um, actually I don't even want to say anything from Intermix because this was a BCBG dress and this is Eliza J. So if you got Eliza J and you are between 190, 195 and 200 and are slim, a 12 will fit you perfect. Um, so this is very girly to me. <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea. However, I just wanted to still show you guys because I know flowers are in this, this spring. So if you want it, you can wear something like this. It does have some ruching here. So you can put a belt if you want it. Um, if you can wear white shoes with this. I have a nude. I kept the same nude shoes on. You could put a white belt on um, if you wanted, like a big belt um, to take away from this. It has ruffles and stuff, guys. Um, and the back is just uh, it's just the opening in the back here. Nothing too nothing too um, over the top. But um, I probably won't wear this. <laughs> I may sell it. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, but I, like I said, I do like the color blush um mint green ivory creams like nice nudes they look really nice on uh deeper darker skin even um mustard looks really good on us um red looks really nice on us um i really try to stay away from all white it's okay but i like the ivory just a tad bit more um and for me, I like gold jewelry, so. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get the last two dresses on, and the last two are the ones that I said that I would wear to church. So, um, if you are a person that goes to church and you don't really know if you can wear like certain colors, or um, I think these are perfect lengths, and they're still very stylish. So, I'll get these on in a second, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, <clears throat> all right guys, so here's the fourth, Oh, fifth dress because I had on the black one. All right, so this is something that I would personally wear to church. I think it's the perfect length for church. Now, we all know sometimes they look at the young people because they have on short skirts and stuff, but I think this is actually really cute and enough to transition over to like a brunch with your girls after if you wanted to. Um, It has like a little bit of detailing here and the back like i said may not be for church <laughs> but you could always just throw on a shawl or something while you're in church because it's usually cold anyway so and this is like a salmon color maybe it's not really blush um but i also think this is a very pretty color also so let me know what you guys think about this one would you wear something like this to church or to a dinner where you know, you have to kind of be not formal, but you know, not too revealing, I guess. Um, but I think this is simple and it's cute. I'm very plain when it comes to some things sometimes because I do, I do believe less is more. Um, I don't think you always have to jazz up an outfit to look presentable, nice and pretty and classy. So that's my tip. So this is it for this dress. 
I'm gonna get on the last one and then we'll be out of here. We'll be done for today's video. All right guys, so I'll be right back. All right, so this is the last dress guys. Uh, so, all right guys, so this is the last dress. This is the other one from ASOS. I meant to tell you guys that this dress I got in a size 12. ASOS brand itself um, usually run rather large. This wasn't like that. So I would recommend when you're buying dresses from them. And this is actually from the tall set. Oh yeah. This is from the tall section. It sure is. That's probably why it fits the way it fits at the um at the back sorry this is a us8 us8 let me just triple check the black one yeah the black one that i had on also i'm sorry guys i told you guys a 12 but that's a uk 12. it's a, a us8 um the rest of these are from intermix and oh again this is also a us8 a UK 12, made in, made in the UK. Sorry. And then the BCBG one, that's a large. And then I believe the Eliza J is a large also. Oh, it's a 12. Actual 12. Okay, so here's the, the last dress. This is something that, I, again, I would wear to church. Um, and this kind of reminds me of like Easter colors like back in the day when I was like 12 which was a very very long time ago but um something like this like I said you sometimes you do not have to always add on to something um to jazz up the outfit sometimes the dress is just enough I think this is simple I wouldn't want to do too much to it because I think it's a very pretty color and I think it's simple it has like it almost looks like corduroy, but it doesn't feel like corduroy. Um, the back has this tie, which I tied it really bad, but you can tie it into like a bow or something or let it hang um, like with a knot or whatever. Uh, if you don't want it to like, you know, be bulky in the back, um, it does zipper all the way up. But I think this is simple. But um, that's it, guys. So if you like videos like this, kind of like shop your closet before you go shopping um, videos, let me know. I can do more of this. Um, I am going to have some maxi dresses coming soon. I'm just trying to make sure that I get nice ones because it is starting to get really warm where I'm at. So if you like videos like this and you stay to the end of this video, please comment below and please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.